Hey guys, what's up? The video you're about to see is gonna be how to handle the addendum as a salesperson. This is something right here where I was in a dealership. Obviously I fly all over the country. I train all around the world. And some of the guys were saying, Andy, on my addendum handling, I feel like that that's a problem. Look, the two strongest thing you could ever have during a negotiation is gonna be rapport and trust. And when going over an addendum with somebody, if you don't have the confidence and you don't know how to do it, you could easily lose the sell. Watch this full video, you're gonna love it. Okay, I want you to write this down. Is getting the most money at the end of ownership important to you on this vehicle? You have to ask that question right out the gate. Remember this, the cell can't be closed until it's open, okay? So you have to ask this quick question. So I'll say, so, hey, Andy, I, I don't wanna pay that addendum. Hey, I totally understand. Number one, agree, always agree, okay? Just agree, say, hey, I totally understand. Look, let me ask you a question. Is getting the most money, and, and listen, I may reword it a couple different ways, but is, is getting the most money at the end of ownership, which means at the end of, you're buying this car today, you're driving it off the lot, you're gonna keep it for a couple years, five years, whatever. Is getting the most money at the end of ownership something that's important to you, yes or no? Yes. Okay, what we've learned, okay, you're, oh, who's the research? You're the research, you're the expert. What we've learned is that our customers, right, have received as much as $3,000 or more, right, for their trade-in values when using this package. Now, what I'll tell you is that if I pay $2,300 for something, and then five years later or two years later, I can get $3,000 back for it, I'm not an investor, but if I can get $23 and get three back, is that worth it? Yes. Absolutely. This will be the best return on investment you've ever had. Anytime that they appraise vehicles, the first thing they do, and we decided it, we went around the things that are on this vehicle, or that are on this pamphlet, right? On what would make customers' vehicles worth more money. This was something that wasn't always put on every car, okay? It's on every vehicle we own now. In order to get all of the things that I'm going over with you on this brochure, which this is probably my fault, and I haven't explained this properly to you. But this right here used to be a $4,200 package. Our customers all wanted it. They just didn't want to spend 4,200. So we went in and we negotiated a package with the company. And we said, what if we guaranteed we put them on every one of them because our customers wanted it. 99% of the customers were buying it. And it was 4,200, right? Imagine what they're doing now at 23, they're ecstatic. But since you haven't purchased a vehicle from us before, right? You're not aware of this. Here's what I'll tell you. This 2,300, we negotiated it down for you. Do you know why? One of the common first things that happen when someone pulls off the lot is a key loss. They lose a key. And when they call, and they call the parts department, do you know what my parts man says? $495 and they go through the roof, okay? You don't have to worry about that. You see this little number here at the bottom? You just do, 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 and they're gonna get you a little key, okay? No problem. You know the door guards, right? See how you can't see them? They're not the big gluey ones that used to be hanging off, kind of, you know what I mean, like the ghetto rides? We don't have those anymore. Guess what? We know that your car door is gonna hit something. It's not a matter of if, it's when. It's going to hit something. And what we learned is that, especially around here in Vero, because we're by the beach, the wind blows. Would you agree? Depends on what time it is, the wind blows. You're sitting there, wind blows the door open, boom, it hits something. Do you know what that costs at a body shop to fix? Look, it's not 2000 or 1980 anymore. You go to the body shop deal and you go to fix that, seven, $800. Guess what? You go through the roof again. How does it feel to drive off the lot, go outside, have done nothing wrong to your car, been babying it, taken care of, the wind blows and it hits something, and now you gotta spend 700. We've learned that we've been able to take the pressure off of our customers pressure off of you by allowing a package that allows you to leave without any stress of worrying about these things happening. And we can do it cheaper than ever. Now remember, you told me a minute ago that at the end of ownership, that whenever you're ready to replace this car, getting the most money was important to you. If I could supply and give all that stress-free stuff and I could still continue to go through everything else, right? If I could supply all that stress-free living in this car, and still be able to get you top dollar when you traded it back in, guess what? 
you're not losing your money. You're basically paying for life insurance, right? When we know it's gonna happen. Like everybody's gonna die, everybody. That's why we have life insurance, not because we wanna die. I don't want your car to get hit, right? I don't want it to happen. But I'm gonna tell you, if I, if I went to your house right now, and this may be a little deep, but I would say if I went to your house right now and I was selling life insurance, if I could tell you when you would die, I could say I could predict that I can tell you the exact date you'll die. Would you buy life insurance from me? Hell yeah. If you say no, you're crazy. <laughs> if I could tell you what day you're gonna die, would you buy would you buy life insurance from me? Absolutely. All right. Yeah. Will your car get a dig? Yes. Yeah, Same thing. Same thing. If I could tell you right now your car would get a dig. If I could tell you right now that all these things are gonna happen that are right here and you're gonna lose your key and all that happens. Would you buy it then? You already know I'm telling you the truth. All of it's going to happen. The cool deal about it is, is that it's all protected. You don't have to worry about any extra expenses out of your pocket right now. Look, you're paying a payment for this car right now, right? You know what the difference is between a variable payment and a fixed payment? You know what the difference is? A variable payment means the payment goes up and down, up and down, up and down. You ding your car, you got to pay for it, right? You got a $400 payment that month, plus you got to pay some extra money to fix when it gets dinged. Am I right? That's called a variable payment. When you buy this car, it has a fixed payment. You know what that means? The payment stays the same, and if any one of these things here happen, does the payment change a penny? Does any money get exchanged out of your bank account? Zero. And then at the end of ownership, do you still get top dollar for your vehicle? Mm -hmm. You get your money back. It's a win-win every single time. You guys see what I'm saying? Yes. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. But did you see how I started out saying, is getting the most money for your vehicle at the end of ownership extremely important to you? Most of our customers say it is. I just wanted to ask if it's important to you. Yeah. Yes, every time you go to trade your car in, right? Are you always saying, I hope the dealer gives me enough? What if you never had to worry about that again? Does that make sense? 